Hey, it's Blake here, and I have some really interesting news about Amazon, specifically some changes they're making to integrate ChatGPT style language based AI search functions. Does that sound a little crazy? Well, if you're a third party seller and you're making your own Amazon listings, you really, really want to learn about this because it's going to change the game totally. So, the basic story is that Amazon is putting out job listings for people to integrate ChatGPT style programs into their search function. Uh, Amazon is like, I, I just saw, I read, I read a news article this morning that half of online purchases originate on amazon.com. Uh, so I think oftentimes people are going there and going somewhere else because they can't find what they want, but Amazon has the this enormous um, SEO footprint where they're getting millions, if not billions of search results over any given time period. Uh, and I think they're trying to utilize this new wave of um, analytical language software that can compare things and suggest things to convert a much higher number of customers. Now, what am I saying when I say that? Kind of sounds a little bit jumbled up, but this is what like the, it distills down to. Uh, someone's going to go to Amazon. They're going to say, my lawnmower doesn't have enough batteries. Uh, what's a lawnmower with more battery power? And that sounds just like, okay, I'm going to give you a bunch of random results for bat for lawnmowers for electric lawnmowers but with this new um integration they're going to be able to say oh okay what lawnmower do you have here are some lawnmowers with more power because in its you know machine mind it's going to have this database of here this this means this they're going to be asking sellers to format data in a way where each item specific corresponds to some type of keyword that internally this new search function understands to mean attribute a uh, so in the case of lawnmower power, uh, it's going to understand that when someone asks about lawnmower power, battery life, I'm, it's not lasting long enough, uh, anything conversationally relevant to that kind of query, it's going to understand that, okay, that means this. And so as people begin to make new listings with lawnmowers in them, for example, and this can be applied universally across the entire website, uh, this new search function is going to understand that when someone conversationally says this, what they're really asking me to do is compare lawnmower life battery cycles or lengths. It might be like, oh, this shampoo dries my scalp out. What's a shampoo with moisturizer? It might be this food product is too spicy for me. What's a milder option? It could say, I'm trying to lose weight. What are some weight loss products that I might enjoy? And uh, this is where it really goes deep. So instead of just understanding what the individual attributes in any individual listing mean, it's going to be able to create a data set of all this customer's proclivities, what they like, what they don't like, and then further assess these attributes against that personalized data set. This is already happening in user profiles, but this just takes to a whole another level because now the information doesn't have to be manually organized. It can be totally automatically organized in a way that provides, hopefully, the best user experience. Now, what does this mean for sellers, for entrepreneurs? Well, it means you're gonna to have to get a lot more conversational in your product copy. Um, not only are you gonna be having to add these attributes that associate with certain conversational words, but having a certain tone, uh, having the kind of things that people say when they want something, as opposed to um, relying on this kind of um, stale uh, e-commerce speak that I just go to any Amazon private label listing and you're going to see all this keyword stuffing and that's kind of a thing of the past, but the mentality of um, putting the right words in as, as opposed to creating a product that um, fulfills a need, you know, in, in, a, in a, a colloquial sense, maybe that is, this is just expediting that. And I think it's great. You know, as somebody who has a copywriting background as somebody who likes to write and likes to talk, I think that making e-commerce more human in a way, ironically using, you know, <laughs> artificial intelligence uh, is only going to help the buyer experience. It's only going to allow people who um, provide more value to rise to the top. It's going to be extremely difficult to like game this system because people aren't stupid. I mean, OK, take it with a grain of salt. People know what they want. Uh, people on a very superficial level, people know what they want. And even if they can't articulate that with the correct terminology, using some sort of uh, AI bot like this, like ChatGPT or whatever they're gonna create in Amazon is going to really help buyers find what they want faster. And that's gonna create so many more sales. It's gonna boost the heck out of Amazon's uh, sales, but it's also gonna allow you 
as a third party seller to really capitalize on this new wave of innovation. If you like this kind of stuff, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you tomorrow.